that. Um, I don't know what it says about God. I know what it says about people who believe in God. It's just that they have to hang on to something. They have to believe that this is a testing ground and that there is somewhere better. The play is very short, <clears throat> very intense, incredibly dramatic. I think of it a bit like Greek tragedy because it is a tragedy. And Singh um, wrote it of having been to the Aran Islands and lived with some people there. He saw the reality of their lives and he's written wonderful parts for women, lots of times, not just in this play, but it's about, to me, it's about survival, really basic survival. I think of their lives as almost akin to the lives of animals in wilderness areas, you know how in islands of Scotland, of Ireland, where they're dominated by islands, in a way, the people who live <clears throat> in the place this play is set have similar lives because they have to fend for themselves, whether it's fishing or growing, making everything, everything that they wear, the boats that they go out in, they have to make everything with their two hands and whatever supplies they can find. They have a lot of tragedy to deal with and they have to find a psychology to hold on to. They are religious, but I think it's a very spiritual play because when women lose so many of their loved ones in such a hard way in a cruel world, the sea seems to dominate their lives. They're at the mercy of the elements. And I suppose they have to find uh, a way to go on. And this is what life is. And she has to go on. And, um, and she does, I think, believe that there is a better place. And they're all together. And we'll all be together. And that's all there is. Um, it's a much more uh, strict way kind of writing in this play than any of his other plays that I know. It's very short and the writing is strict to the bare bones and it's quite challenging <coughs> to get it across. The other play of his, of Sings that I've been in is Playboy of the Western World which is a, a much longer play and has a far greater uh, There are all kinds of drama in the Playboy of the Western World. There's comedy and tragedy and horror in a way and lots of wonderful characters. Very, very beautiful, interesting writing. Even very small parts in the Playboy of the Western World have beautiful, interesting words to say, and they all have a real character. In, in The Riders to the Sea, I suppose the same thing applies, except that the writing is very, very stripped away, and raw, and really quite difficult to get across. I first saw this play when I was 15 at the Abbey Theatre in Dublin, and it has haunted me ever since. And I've always hoped I would get a chance to play this part. And I wanted to explore the character and try and understand how and why. So I hope we can do that. So come and see it at the Cog Art Space in Islington uh, between the 19th and the 29th of November. There are eight performances.